It turns out sewing isn't just for making and mending clothing. It can also be used to care for me and you. Jimmy Rhodes has three recent headlines of people stitching together support, and they're on the buzz list. Jimmy. Thanks, they say you reap what you sow, and for the people in these stories, that's the smile you get after giving someone support. Coming in at number one, Exceptional Heroes, a therapy device that's an emotional support pet plush. Hey, how are you doing? Not good. Here, take my hero, he helps a lot. It was created by Savannah Paula Fox, a survivor of sexual assault who modeled the plushes after the therapy dog, Shelby, and rabbit, Monroe, that got her through her tough time. Everyone's met him, everyone loves him, and I always heard, I wish I could just take you home. So now they're able to just take them home and actually use the benefits of them. Each one has a diffuser for aromatherapy, a sound box for controlled breathing exercises, Velcro paws loaded with stress balls for fidgeters, and they're weighted for pressure therapy. We've had different people test them out. They're like, ooh, it does that, ooh, it does this. Oh my gosh, how much more is there? They're set to come out next year, and you can subscribe for updates at exceptionalheroes.com. At number two, Quilts of Valor, a nonprofit made of 10,000 volunteers who stitch together quilts to show veterans they care. From a grateful nation, we award you this Quilt of Valor. Marine Corps veteran David Washington received this quilt that's meant to bring comfort and healing to service members touched by war. I'm supposed to wrap it around you. This is part of the ceremony. <laughs> is it big enough? <laughs> the nonprofit has awarded over 250,000 quilts of valor. All their info is at qovf.org. And third on our list of people stitching together support, Artisans for Hope, a nonprofit that's teaching textiles to refugees. Afghanistan, Somalia, Republic of the Congo, Bhutan. We give them a sewing machine and all of the notions that they need to take home. Since 2009, they've taught hundreds of refugees how to sew and knit hats, bags, masks, and more that are then sold to benefit the students and their families. When I give them their checks, the thank yous, are, it's off the charts. And you can find all their handcrafted products at artisansforhope.org. Bringing comfort with something soft and cozy on the buzz list.